Oh, hi there. Uh, yeah, I should be reviewing a book, right? Not playing, but let's go over there. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Gio here, and today we're going to be talking about The King of Fighters, A New Beginning, the brand new manga that just came out, courtesy of Seven Seas Entertainment. And I actually want to give a shout out to Seven Seas for sending me an advanced copy to review and uh, talk about. So, yeah, The King of Fighters. I have to be completely honest with you guys. I had very little knowledge about the series, I didn't grow up playing it. I was more of a Nintendo kid, and of course I was, when it came to fighting games, I think the only one I really liked was Street Fighter because of the colorful cast. I knew about the King of Fighters, but it wasn't something that I seeked out. I knew about uh, Mai and Terry and, and characters like that, which of course transcend the franchise. Uh, you know, the, the, they are characters that you know regardless of if you've played the game or not. So I went back and replayed the games, specifically 96 and 98, uh, which uh, I played 94 to 2003 King of Fighters, and I gotta say, the only ones I genuinely liked using was 96 and 98. Uh, I know people like to go back and forth with which version is their favorite or not, but I'm just telling you, as somebody that just started playing recently, uh, those two stood out to me. And I know they're pretty famous, uh, so that must be for a reason, right? I don't know. I'm not the biggest expert when it comes to fighting games. I like playing them, and I love the characters and seeing all the combos and moves, but I'm no good at them. Like, I am pretty terrible at them, if you ask me. Uh, I, I can button mash with the best of them. <laughs> So, The King of Fighters, A New Beginning is written by Kyotaru Azuma, and it's published by Kodansha. Licensed, of course, in North America by Seven Seas Entertainment, and it brings a sort of fresh air to the franchise. I learned that this manga is adapting the King of Fighters 14 video game into manga form, but also it, it has an air of freshness to it. It's very reader-friendly. If you don't know what King of Fighters is, it's basically this big tournament where uh, you fight to become the very best. And of course, there's going to be bad guys and evil corporations and uh, dubious characters and all that stuff. Of course, you're going to have your protagonist and heroes, depending on which character you use. And the story reflects on that. It's very, it's a very simple, basic, yet effective premise that you've seen throughout uh, fighting video games and fighting uh, shonen manga and battle tournaments and all that stuff. It's very standard. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just the way it behaves. It's just the nature of the beast is what I'm trying to get at. With the King of Fighters and New Beginning, we are seeing the rise of a new tournament uh, by this character, Antonov. He is the self-proclaimed champion, I guess, and he's funding uh, with some, uh, I guess, uh, third parties and uh, dubious corporations. He's funding this brand new uh, tournament edition of the King of Fighters, and it attracts returning characters, and I think... Uh, well over, what, like 45 characters, which is insane for a roster, especially on a manga, and you literally spend the first two chapters of the first volume introducing all the characters, and they are in three-man squads, so you get their introductions by some very colorful uh, commentary, and then the team presentation. So you, you do get a lot of teams involved in this and they all have their own motive i mean you've got team japan k team team china team south america team mexico which was hilarious because the first thing that that's that's the weirdest team mexico i've ever seen in any uh fictional manga or anime or game <laughs> you also have uh the women fighters you got team south town and uh, the Fatal Fury team, Art of Fighting team, Psycho Soldiers, it goes on like that. 
each with uh, three characters and you know a whole bunch of them. I do believe some of them are new to the either the game it's based on, the 14th uh, King of Fighters, or the manga. You will have to correct me on that. I'm not super knowledgeable uh, with the uh, franchise. But uh, after those first two chapters, you start getting the first fight, and it's really fun. It plays heavily into tropes when it comes to battle arcs. If you've read any uh, Shonen Battle series, if you played any fighting games, it, it sticks to the formula. It doesn't try to break the mold too much, but it still has such a uh, kinetic energy and presence to it that you fall in and you're in for the ride and it looks fantastic. I love the artwork. The fights are really easy to follow, which is a plus because that's the main bread and butter of a title like this, the actual fighting. And if you can't have a dynamic battle, it's not going to be as exciting, I think. But they really did a good job with capturing the essence of a fighting game in a comic, in a manga, and the way that these characters behave and, and the attack moves and all that stuff. It's not too blurry or convoluted. You do understand what's happening. And it's always fun to see the dynamic between such different characters because when it comes to games like this, part of the appeal is having such a widely ranged uh, roster. Not everybody looks exactly the same. They're not generic. Everybody has their own unique flair. And I do think the manga captures that pretty well from the video game franchise. Now, unfortunately, the first volume ends on quite the cliffhanger. Just when you're getting into it, it's over. And you really do want to pick up Volume 2 to see how the story progresses, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but I wish um, I wish we could have gotten just... I know the main purpose is to go in and fight, but I wish we could get sort of a, a, a little breather or a, or a prologue chapter or something because it just puts you right at the start like if you were playing a video game and you hit start and there we go, the tournament's starting. I wish maybe it could have gotten us like a chapter zero or something on how we got to that point just a little bit for fans new to the uh readers new to the series i should say i, I don't know maybe it, it shouldn't be a carbon copy of a fighting game and maybe you could flesh out a little bit more and give us sort of a behind the scenes instead of jumping right into the action without too much characterization because, like I said, the first two chapters, since there's like 45 freaking fighters, you're spending a whole lot of time just introducing characters with quick little sentences on, uh, like, the Fighting Fury, and they're good because of this. It's so-and-so. Instead of doing that, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because I'm not accustomed to uh, the King of Fighters franchise. Could be that I, uh, I'm... I'm getting ahead of myself and maybe the later volumes are going to explore a little bit more in between the fights which would be cool uh, so we'll see but overall I do uh, wholeheartedly enjoyed that first volume it was fun action-packed the action was intense the drawings are very clean cut and precise the, the fighting is very fluid and you can follow it the story's engaging enough if you like martial arts and fighting if you love the video game franchise obviously you're gonna have a fun time with a new beginning it's a very fun way to get uh people into the franchise you don't have to play the games you don't have to know anything about the games i think the manga does a very good job of establishing the world and the character specifically which is the main appeal i guess and bringing you in to a very uh famous franchise without feeling overwhelmed so, yeah, I do recommend it. The King of Fighters, A New Beginning, written by uh, Kyotaro Azuma. It's a fun martial arts manga that I think you will have a fun time checking out. If you do check it out, let me know in the comments below. Also, what's your favorite martial arts manga? Very interested in finding out. Guys, as always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. Thank you so much to the folks over at Seven Seas Entertainment for making this video possible. Thank you so much. I'm deeply humbled and flattered and just 
that's that's pretty damn epic. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to do a video like this and review King of Fighters A New Beginning Volume 1. I have got to go. Follow me on social media, hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. I've got more stuff to read and review, so I will catch all of you on our next episode. Thank you.